Welcome everybody to the music show. I'm Ray Brazelton, your host. Glad to have you with us today. We have for you Light Blue Light, which is a gospel blues band, which actually is a part of a bigger band called, actually it's called Light Blue Gospel Blues Band. And we're going to have an interview with the three in this group, and then we're going to also have the others from Light, uh, from Light Blue Gospel Blues Band join us, and they'll be uh, telling you a little bit of how that all works. We have a uh, showcase and other uh, segments of a show that I know that you'll be interested in watching in addition to the interview and some really great, good gospel music in the blues style. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in a bit. This is a song we call The Struggle, and it's about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And as the author and finisher of our faith, he shows us how to struggle with the physical and the spiritual and overcome. Show me that cross. 
Well, welcome back, everybody. We have with us today, of course, Light Blue Light, who I mentioned to you just uh, at the opening it was also part of a bigger group uh, called Light Blue Gospel Blues Band. And uh, we're going to talk to them a little later. We're going to talk to them throughout the show. I hope you've enjoyed so much what we've done so far. I'd like them to introduce themselves. And can we start with you, Bob? Absolutely. Uh, my name is Bob Ludwig. I'm from the West Walworth, Macedon area. And I play uh, slide guitar as well as uh, 12 string. Today we're doing like an unplugged type of set. And I'm Mike Spang. I'm the bass player in the group and laying down the low end. And I live uh, actually right between these two guys in uh, Macedon, right on County Line. Yeah, Mike Ketternolo, play harmonica and guitar. And um, yes, we all live very close to each other. And I'm in Macedon just inside Wayne County, actually. It's um, neat that, that this has happened. Now, had you lived by each other for a long time, for years, or how did you um, get to together like this? Actually, I think I was the last one to move closer to right. these guys. I just moved into Macedon about two years ago. It's kind of interesting. I could just see you guys yeah, mowing you along. Hey, you play a guitar. <laughs> hey, well, you want to come over someday? I could just see it. Well, uh, again, we want to welcome you to the show and uh, let you know that uh, we, we, we're planning to get a little bit more information from you with the roundtable area discussions that we're going to have through the show uh, with music, of course, going all the way through uh, the show and um, some of our other segments. Uh, now, you did say you got together. How, can you give me some information as to really what, how you found each other? Probably through church. <laughs> well, um, actually a few years ago, um, a friend of mine and I had this uh, vision that um, there wasn't really many Christian blues groups out there. So um, playing blues in the old days in secular bands, uh, uh, it was v very interesting to start doing it and playing for the Lord. And uh, well, we started a uh, three-piece with uh, Mike on bass, and then the next thing you know, we saw my brother Bob here over at the Impact Theater, and uh, we got together, Lord brought us together, and I think it was within six, seven months, he was in the band. Yeah. So, and the band just grew, and now we have a... Uh, yeah, a total of five, though. Yep, it's Ken on keyboards and yeah. Bruce on, on drums. Yeah. Well, I, I just, I was telling you earlier that, you know, you guys, to me, are, I was thanking you for doing this, because mm -hmm. we really don't, like you say, it doesn't seem there are too many blues, Christian blues bands, mm -hmm. or gospel blues bands, they're just really that I know of anyhow. And actually, I believe you maybe, maybe we may have had one more uh, on the on the show, but uh, mm -hmm. no more. And uh, and what's really nice too about you guys is that you write your, your own music. Yes. And that's what's right. Well, you know, we're gonna uh, talk a lot more later and uh, we wanna get into some more music and I, we have a, uh, at least one video that we're gonna be doing with you guys too that you're gonna put, we're gonna, and we'll talk to you about that later. And I uh, even talked to the person who wrote it, right? So we're going to get that person in uh, also. So everybody stay tuned. We'll be with you in a little bit. Enjoy. command 
said, now he come the trouble water, a howling wind his command. Well, by myself, I can't do nothing, but on this rock, I can stand. upon him I too can walk the sea Said when I keep my eyes upon him I too walk the sea With just a mustard seed of faith That mountain gonna move for me Watch out now, Mom. Thank you. Very nice job. And uh, you've been playing that, that song and that instrument uh, will be used, I'm sure, today and probably is used a lot. Yes, we'll get into the Mississippi Delta six string bottleneck slide guitar That's blues. That's exactly here. what we're going to do. By the way, this is the, the music showcase, instrument showcase, personality showcase. It's a showcase part of the show. And uh, we are <laughs> showcasing today, Bob. And uh, his, what, slide guitar? Slide guitar, yes. Right. And you're, of course, in the uh, Light Blue Light uh, group uh, that's been uh, featured today on our show. As well and as Light Blue Gospel Blues Band. Right, and uh, that's uh, <laughs> the mother band. Right, right. absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so uh, in the band you play this, do you play this, and this is called a slide guitar? Yep. And you play this quite a bit in both groups? or Quite a bit, yeah. yeah. We... we uh, we're going to do one song today with this guitar, but uh, you know we, we've got we've got several arranged with this in the in the band in the big band, mm -hmm. and I can uh, you know stop on the pedal and mm -hmm. and make it sound a little bit more like Dwayne Allman, mm -hmm. and then I can uh, make it well, sound that, more country. That's what I like to talk to, uh, real quickly on that too. But can you tell me again what what is slide guitar? Where did it come from? Where did slide guitar even come from? Well, you know, it, it started back in the Mississippi Delta, and uh, there was a fellow that named Sun House that actually spent time in Rochester, New York, and I saw him as a as a teenager. Uh, it, he, they brought him into Penfield High School. Mm -hmm. a guy named uh, Waterman discovered him in Rochester, mm -hmm. and uh, he told the story of how to make a slide out of a wine bottle. You first had to drink the wine, of course. <laughs> And then uh, you tied a string soaked in kerosene around the bottle, lit it on fire, and got that bottle glowing orange hot, and then you broke it. And you might have to drink two or three bottles of wine to get a good slide. I was never able to do it, but Sun House could do it. 
and and you would you would slide up the strings. This is with the glass. Yes, with the glass. Now I use a uh, I think this is an 11 16 Craftsman deep socket that I've uh, ground the uh, the square part off and it fits really nice on the finger. It's nice and heavy and you get sustain with a heavy slide right. un unlike some of the, the glass is good, it gives you a warmer sound, but you don't yeah. get as much sustain out of it. Well, some of the metal ones they make uh, sound to me a little bit more tinny than that one does. Right, and, right. And they don't make them as heavy as that, generally. Or I, maybe they do, but I don't see them. Generally heavy. not. Like the, the brass one I've got yeah. over there is very tinny. Yeah. I, I would not use it. It's a very good sound. It really is. Thank you. Now, you all, you were talking about glass. So so this is actually a... a uh, a, 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 a sprocket or a, a, a deep socket. Deep yeah. socket. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, and it. I, I when you were telling me socket, I was wondering what it was, but it's it actually is a, a real socket. Yes, I and, took uh, it out of my tool chest. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now you use that more so than the glass. I do on this guitar especially. Mm -hmm. Now on on when I play the Strat mm -hmm. with the full band, I'll use a glass slide. Mm -hmm. This this is one that that Dwayne Allman made popular. This is a Coracedon bottle. It's an old mm -hmm. medicine bottle, yeah. and um, it's it's pretty thick. It's pretty heavy, and it's got some good sustain. Now, I it didn't fit my finger well, so I stuck some old business that? cards in there, right. and and now it, it fits the finger. Is good. that a real glass bottle? Or are they? It is. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, I they remanufacture them now because they Coracedon they still make, but it's more in liquid. Yeah. Instead of the pills. So they do they manufacture these specifically for guitar players? For guitar players. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can find them at music stores or online. Yeah, yeah. I know that. but that's that's a Dwayne Allman thing. Yeah, can right you there. play something on this with that? Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a yeah. feel for what this is about. Oh, that's nice. Now Dwayne would would pump it up like this. What is this down here? I don't know if the camera can catch it or not. Oh, it looks like they got it pretty much. This is just a uh, an effects pedal that, that just changes the uh, the tone of the uh, the guitar. And it's it a Digitech. Process. It's right. a Digitech, yeah. yeah. And it, this is unique in that it has a tube in it, so it, it gives you a warm tube overdrive oh, yeah. um, that that a lot of pedals don't have. Well, that's, that's what I, I like notice about everything you do on this is that you have a warm feeling all together with the whole slide thing compared to a lot of, sometimes they sound to me a little bit tinny and clangy when, mm -hmm. when they do it, but you, you sound very warm on this, for an acoustic guitar particularly, I think. Well, my, my amp tech is uh, Cat Caternolo, and uh, he's, he's the one that's got this amp sounding beautiful here. So, uh, it does it's his amp, yeah. you know. Well, that, uh, now, uh, with, with this guitar I thought was interesting. I was asking you about that. You said you found this at uh, some museum or something. It cost uh, $100,000 for this guitar or something like that? Something like that, yeah. yeah. It was it, it was, was a garage sale <laughs> find. My, my late wife found it at a garage sale for $10. And this is a Giannini, which was a nice uh, classical guitar back in the day. And you could tell it was classical. I hate to interrupt you. But, no, no, go but ahead. By these... Uh, well, the 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 way that you can turn it this way, these uh, posts go sideways, and they got plastic around them, and that generally plastic would be the thing you'd use. Around. They they use nylon strings originally on this guitar, and somebody put steel strings on it. And what and happened? It it warped the neck, and it's probably hard oh, to get a good shot at well, that. So you should throw that away. But, it's uh, good then, right? Well, that's that's what I thought when I first played it. But then I said, you know what? It, when you play the slide with it, the slide doesn't bottom out against the frets, right. so it makes an excellent slide guitar. Now the intonation, if I was to fret it, wouldn't be too good. <laughs> it's almost a, a half step high when yeah. you play it up here, but um, it 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 has perfect intonation if you hold the slide properly. Now, part of the technique of holding the slide, you don't want to hold it sideways like this. You want to hold it parallel to the frets. And um, 
you know, if you're playing a single note, it doesn't matter as much, but if you're playing a chord, you want to hold it uh how do, you, how do you play a chord? I don't see you fingering any chord there. Well, that's a great question, Ray. You know, uh, what I do is I have an open tuning on this. And this, this, you tune it D, G, D. The missing string here is a G, B, D. And uh, that's, that sounds out a chord. And, and the bass one is your fifth. So when you go up to your five chord, I play that open. And that's called a Vastapal tuning. That's an old that's Mississippi uh, type of tuning. Yes, very, sir. very warm sound, though, the way you're playing it. Well, uh, you know, I, I want to thank you very much for uh, coming on the show with, with the group. Well, thanks for having and, us. Uh, and thank you so much for showing us this uh, interesting, interesting uh, little guitar here, uh, slide you. guitar. Uh, it didn't seem like it cost a fortune to put together. And uh, No, it's... Uh, might it's a, it's a low budget, yeah. high, high result uh, unit here. Well, I, I want to thank you again very much, Bob, for uh, uh, everything. And we will uh, move on. We've got a lot of songs for you yet. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. This song came about as a result of doing some prison ministry over the years. And um, it's all about wishing for what you can't have. And... It, it's our prayer that people that are incarcerated or that have been that find Jesus in prison will continue in the faith once they get out. So that's, that's the theme of this song, and it's called Of Wishes Was Horses. Wishes was wholesome, beggars would rhyme. Wishes was wholesome, beggars would rhyme. If wishing were wings like angels, over the walls I would fly. The lonely eyes upon the blue sky. Shaded by walls of gray Lonely eyes upon the blue sky Shaded by walls of gray Red are these eyes from crying For a passing light of day Jesus, won't you keep me Keep me on the net Shaded by walls.
Hello, everybody, and welcome again to the Today's Lesson segment of the music show. We've been moving along little by little, trying to learn the very, very basics of guitar. Uh, we started off, of course, with uh, the uh, parts of guitar, and then we did the uh, positions of the guitar, body and guitar position, and then uh, uh, we uh, went to the actual learning of the E, F, and G notes and had you uh, play them. And I uh, hope you uh, practice real good and uh, know them well enough that we can go ahead now and uh, learn our B, C, and D note. Again, this is a very basic guitar. Once we get some of these guitars uh, notes done, we're going to go on to, uh, to uh, chords, simple chords. We'll get into that. But I wanted to take you on now to the B, C, and D notes. We learned the E, F, and G, which were the first string. Open E, F note, and G note. Now take note how I'm doing that with my thumb not up here, my thumb down behind the second fret, not the first fret, not the third, but the second fret or around here or here in this area. And down low, bent back, and the palm out and the tips. That was the E, F, and G note. Now we're going to start the B, C, and D note, which is on the second string up. That's the string here. B, C, and D note. And... As you remember, the right hand picks down and picks down and rests on the string below. This is something I didn't teach before because we hadn't worked on the second or third strings. When you're picking the strings above the first string, uh, I would like you to learn a rest stroke means you pick down like you've learned to pick down, but you pick down and you rest on that first string. Rest pretty good and hard, rest there hard, and keep it down until it's time to play the next note. That's called a rest stroke. So that's the B string. Now that's, if you look on, uh, on the page that I have to show you here, you should see it on the screen, you'll see that the B note is on the third line up on the staff. Uh, you notice there's four sta uh, spaces and there's one, two, three, four, five lines working up the staff from bottom to top. It's on the third line up. That's the B note and that's the second string up on your guitar, a little skinny string string, the second one up. So if you can uh, pick that string, that's called open B. And again, I'm using the rest stroke. And again, it's a whole note. There's no stem on it. It's just like a donut. And you count one, two, three, four. Then you pick the next note up. If you notice next to that is uh, the uh, third space up on the staff. Count from the bottom up. One, two, three. Now we're in a space between two lines, a third space up. That's called a C note. And that note is played like this. It's on the first fret. So just like the F note was on the first fret, only it's on the first fret on the second string up. You press hard, close to the fret wire, but don't touch it or you'll have a dead sound. And with your right hand, the same as you did the B string, you pluck down, you pick down, and rest on the string below, and you get a different sound. That's a C note, as opposed to an open B. Now you've got C note. And then you stretch to the D note. If you look on your paper, you'll see it's one, two, three, four. The fourth string, I'm sorry, the fourth line up on the staff. One, two, three, four. That's a D note. You stretch like you did F to G, when you stretch from F to G, now you're stretching on the second string up, C to D. Keep your fingers curled, palm out, and stretch. C note, the D note, again, is the one, two, three, four, the fifth line up the staff. That's a D note. So you got open B, C, and you stretch to D. Now you can actually play some whole notes on the same page, if you want to look down on number nine, you can play open B, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D, one, two, three, four, back to C, two, three, four, and open B, two, three, four. If you look uh, again below that, you'll see uh, on number 10, You'll see uh, half notes. They have the stem going down. Looks like a donut with a carrot hanging down on the side of it. And you give them only two 
counts a piece. So it'd be like one, two, three, four. That was two B notes in a row. Let's do that again. A B note, two counts, one, two, another B note, another two counts, three, four. Then C notes in the space, third space up. One, two, three, four. Then the fourth line up is a D note. You stretch and you got two of those, you get two counts a piece. One, two, three, four. Back to C note. One, two, three, four. And then open B note. One, two, three, four. Now you've got quarter notes. They're colored in. They got like a colored in donut with a carrot hanging down from the bottom of it. So on the third line, so it's a B note, and that's open string, second string. No finger. Just keep your fingers hovering over their frets in position. And let's start with the B note. B, 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 B. Then C, 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 C. Stretch D, 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 D. C, 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 C. B, two, three, four. Uh, this is O to Joy using the six notes now that we've got down uh, E, F, and G, and B, C, and D. That's the first string E, F, and G, second string B, C, and D. So, uh, Hope you enjoyed uh, the show, and we'll see you next time. Here we go.
Everybody knows when the blues is going down. When we walk the road with Jesus, we tell the blues get out of town. Well, glad to have you back again. Uh, we have the whole band here today. Uh, we brought them in for the special discussion. This is uh, called the Light Blue Gospel Blues Band. And uh, of course, we've been listening to Light Blue Light. And uh, uh, I want to quickly introduce uh, a couple of people that uh, actually are part of the uh, blues, uh, blue, uh, Light Blue Gospel Blues Band. And uh, this is Ken Stenzel here. Hi. And uh, of course, where is he? Oh, right behind there you me. go. Is Bruce? I'm Bruce Highland. Highland, and uh, they're actually part of the the whole group, the five piece group. And uh, uh, we'll have to have you all on someday when we get a bigger stage and a bigger <laughs> studio or something. But uh, you know, um, I, I uh, again want to thank you for uh, all of you for all you've done today. Uh, this band is. Really, a blues style. I don't know how you you, you had a, a or somebody had a name for it, a Delta blues type style, or is well, that just that's on the slide guitar? Okay, yep. but you are a blues, yes. a little jazz too. Yeah, a we do jazz. different types of blues, swing and jump and right, some West Coast. Right, yeah. you like it all. And the thing that I'm I mentioned before is that you know you don't just don't hear a lot, of, not in Christian music or gospel music, you don't hear it. So uh, it was really. Um, uh, nice to have somebody on our show that could do this because we've never had this before uh, that I can remember. And uh, Ken, I know that um, you're the one that introduced me uh, to the whole group. Mm -hmm. And they're actually playing out, they play out different places here and there and uh, as a ministry. And this is what this is really all about is a ministry. I don't know if maybe Mike, uh, you can tell us a little bit how, how uh, what kind of ministry and how you came upon this. Well. We're all motivated to, uh, well, our mission is the Great Commission, put it that way. Uh, Christ told us to go out and preach the gospel and to share the gospel. And um, we try to play at a lot of secular events. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year we were at the New York State Fair. We played the Clothesline Festival. Uh, we were blessed with a lot of events like that. And um, typically, you know, these days as uh, time's been progressing, uh, say in the name of Jesus, is a doesn't always come across really well. But um, we've been very blessed to be able to share that message. Um, week after next, we'll actually be going to Butler Prison and sharing that same message with uh, some inmates. Yeah, and we're cool. always very well received when we I'll go there. Bet. I bet you are. It's a blessing for them, blessing for us. Yeah, yeah it's the, the um, whole idea is a great idea. And it does spread, uh, spread uh, uh, your, your mission. Uh, very widely, and I hope this continues on uh, for a long time, and we can have you uh, as a five-piece group again on the show sometime. Uh, you know, I know that you've had some uh, experiences in the past uh, where you've played at like coffee houses that were Christian and uh, Christian coffee houses, and uh, you had one experience. Uh, if I'm mistaken, tell me. But but you do a lot of Christian coffee houses, or you do you do some yeah we do quite a few around town right yeah. and you had an experience with um, I guess a young man who actually was uh, his father was part of a motorcycle group uh, could uh, you tell us a little bit about that or Ken would that be something you'd want, either one of you sure uh, uh, Andrew Cattell and his dad uh, were members of the Christian Motorcycle Association and they came and supported us and they still do and Andrew was a wonderful wonderful boy and he was challenged in many ways but the one unique thing he did was to praise God he used to dance and he came up to us uh, one time and wanted to dance under the Lord in front of us and we said sure go ahead and do it well unfortunately a couple years back uh, this beautiful heart for Jesus uh, stopped beating and he went to be with the Lord and uh, 
He was such an inspiration to us for the purity of his love of God that I decided that I would write a song to commemorate his life and in honor of him and to his whole family. And it's called Dance Andrew Dance. This, this um, group, had, uh, motorcycle group, uh, used to come to see you perform at different places. Quite yes, a bit. and yeah. they still do. And they still yeah. do? Yes. Yeah. Are yeah. they in this uh, local area? Yeah, there's different chapters throughout Rochester. Rochester and Wayne County, they're all over. It, it's been a, a ministry for sure, and I uh, hope that uh, you will stick in now because I think uh, we're going to try to uh, to play this. Uh, let's watch this. this uh, you, I know you'll enjoy it. This is one that you wrote, and uh, again, the name of it is Dance Andrew Dance. Enjoy that very moving song and the story that uh, we 
uh, that was that we had talked about before it uh, we put it for you to watch uh, but um, you know uh, again this band could have a big influence in a lot of people's lives and I do believe that uh, it's already had uh, influence in a lot of people's lives uh, do, do you guys you do play out uh, different places can you kind of give me an idea uh, well, we do a lot of benefits mm -hmm. uh, we've played for a lot of local churches uh, Didn't you say really that, and then you were saying about the state fair? You talked about that already, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The state fair. Uh, we like playing at the Open Door Mission every other month. Yeah. That's uh, a real good blessing for the guys that are there, and we always seem to have a really great time when we're there. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so that's uh, now. So can anybody pretty much get get a hold of you? Do you have a contact or a website or anything like that that you could uh, people could contact you at? Yes, we do. Um, I believe the best one would be um, a website called Reverb Nation. Mm. And uh, if you were to do a search on any of the search engines, Google or Bing or whatever, you could uh, do a search on Reverb Nation and then light blue. And that should bring it up. And yeah. I'll defer to Mike because <laughs> Mike's our PR internet guy for yeah, that. Even if you put in gospel blues, uh, light blue gospel blues, you'll get it'll come up in the first two or three hits and you'll get the reverb nation address from that as well too yeah. uh, email at all or any other kind of, you know anything like that that you might want to mention well we're uh, developing a website right now mm -hmm. and it's going to be light blue gospel blues band dot mm -hmm. it's up we're working on it and that will have all the contact information on it with email addresses as well as ReverbNation.com slash light blue that will also have the email addresses. Okay. And yeah. you can always like us on mm -hmm. Facebook. On Facebook. Yes. Yeah. 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 You can yeah. find yeah. us on very Facebook. Good. On yeah. Facebook. We're also on Twitter. <laughs> like okay, so that's, that's very good. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I really want to again thank you and uh, uh, Bruce, uh, uh, we look forward to seeing you on the show uh, soon with your drums and That'll everything. Fine, and uh, and uh, uh, we appreciate all this bass player guys on. Thank you very much, Bob, for this showcase. Thank you so showcase. much for having us. We really and, appreciate uh, it. Mike, thank you for being uh, a good spokesman today for uh -huh. us. And, uh, thank you. And Ken, as usual. Uh, my buddy Ken here. So, everybody, we hope you enjoyed the show. Come back and join us again next week right here at the music show. Don't let nobody turn you around Walk with the rich, walk with the poor Love on everybody, that's what living's for Don't you ever let nobody Drag your spirit down Well, we're walking up to heaven Say some things sound strange to you. I might preach a gospel, I believe it's true. I will never let nobody drag my spirit down. Well, we're walking up to heaven, don't let nobody turn you around. Guitar.